Okay. <laughs> um, hello everyone. Celsi here. Um, interesting. Uh, so I will be playing, uh, milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. I don't know what this is. Um, I was just looking for something to play and the, um, the visual like art cover for this was like, oh, interesting. And then the opening looked pretty good too. Reminds me of like um like older anime. So I thought like I'll give it a give it a shot. Um obviously continue doesn't work, so we'll hit new game. Are those eyes? Hello? They are eyes. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, the ceilings. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes, it's so easy to lose self-control and track a time, spitting in a joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole. Ugh! Laughing mockingly. Ahaha, uh, that's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. Well, I sure hope you don't! <laughs> I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure of that. Why would you question that? I break into a run and dash towards the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers. But then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break down the door now. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death? Scare to death someone who's already dead? I am so confused. <laughs> what if it actually revives them? No, no, no. I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside. But there was a bag of milk I bought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me and its unblinking eye. I stare back. Nothing happens. How is... How is milk staring at you? Although, what exactly did... I... I'm sorry, I must restart that sentence. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf in the store or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world and onto the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk towards my room through the narrow corridor. What is that? I meet a familiar formless creature at the door. It look 
locks me in its clutch. I'm distracted by flashing in its clutches and clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. What is that? After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again? I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. The creature squeezes my hand until my veins start bulging, and I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I've promised so many times. Stay put. The moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. I don't know what that word is. But then, then the claw injects its venom into me. What do we get into? I just started the game! What is this? It hurts. A white vein appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time. But... Why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every se single cell while my veins and arteries heat up almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while I keep the poisonous claw inside my arm. This took such a turn, what? <laughs> kill me, kill me. Hysterically, Hysterical screams resound through the corridor. In the fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a sound. With a loud sound, I try to imprint where every drop fell in my memory, so I can gather them all later. I need to remember. I need. A new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns into pitch black in an instant. This has got to be a dream, right? Say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. <laughs> Good thing I don't like milk. If this is what happens if you drink milk, I say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again! What was that? I just started like recording 10 minutes ago. What is this? Did she like literally experience that or was that like some hallucination? Was it spoiled milk that she drank? I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. She looks tired to me. And there was a time when the last minute before I, s I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I love anticipating the inevitable moment 
when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dream slow, always slowly but surely slipped away. I don't know what that sound was suddenly happening in my ear. <laughs> As if someone fished them out of my head, one after another, one after another, until nothing was left, and now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny. But I have no idea how they work separately since I always swallow them as a swallow them as a bunch without thinking. I hope with the correct amount. <laughs> now I want to have a better look at it. To twirl it between my fingers, to chew on it. I do anything to stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth protrude round red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky semi-transparent film, but I can't still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy. The pill flies straight. The pills fly straight to the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next was the flat pill, of the same blood red color. There was some letters printed out on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy. But it's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next half, uh, half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides and then find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medicine instead and enjoy swallowing, swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. Hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about, about it to someone right away. But not to my mom. She'll scold me. And she's sure I'm already sleeping anyways. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder, who's going to be my conversation partner? This is so weird already. Hey. Oh, I select it. Hey. Long time no see. Oh, I am talking to her? It hasn't even been an hour. Um... You know, we're only supposed to meet once a day, right? I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something here. Okay, so apparently there was a game before this that might be... I don't know if it has how much, like, relation it has to this one? 
But I'm explaining why I'm a little lost on some of this. But uh, I'm just gonna go for it and just take it how I see it. So uh, we'll just we'll just go with the first one. There you go, bullying me again. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit. I don't want to say no. I'll just go with the second one. That's not true. You need to go to bed. No. You've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now, alright? Or just stay silent until the medicine's effect wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. Well, that's rude. <laughs> I'm so energetic and I feel great. Which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. I feel really lost without having... If this has any like correlation to, I guess, the game th that goes before this, Mobhead? Looks like I'm gonna have to play that one too after I get through this one, because I'm, I'm already playing it, so... <laughs> hey, I can imagine how angry you are right now. Um... We'll just- we'll just play along. Uh, by the way, you're the one that's use- uh, uh, <laughs> I had no choice. Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? So you're the one calling the shots now? Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something! I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then... falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face, then we'll decide what to do with you. So who are we? Oh, she looks tired. Oh! What's that? It's a QR code. It's not- uh, can I? Phone! I don't think I could. It's not complete, is it? Well, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. Let's see. I don't think I could. I think it's too... I don't think it's complete. No. Oh. I'll read it and then I'll try to see if I can drag it out or something. Um. In front of the mirror again, I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks the walls are giving me. Trying not to drown in their giggling. But then, me in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile. Bears her teeth at- Bears her teeth at me. And I- No, I can't click it out or anything. Um, I shut my eyes. But that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I want to scan that QR code. It's, I keep staring at it. <laughs> I start counting in my mind. Two squared by two squared. Wait, two squared. Two by two squared. A square squared. A square pyramid squared. A pyramidal structure cubed. A pyramidal structure hypercubed. 
I feel better. Uh, but my head is spli splitting apart now. How do you feel? You're mocking me, right? Um... If you say so? What happened? Nothing, it's just... Don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah. You ought to know how to- how challenging it was. No, the QR code! <sighs> oh, we're back with playing with pills now. Please, no. Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? I don't know, I'm so lost in this situation. Uh, take your meds in the appropriate amount. I know. And you keep pushing me. Then why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true. The pain subsided for a bit at the time. But now I feel... It triple in force. It hurts so bad. Um. Just drink your medicine or I'll stop talking to you. Mm. I don't like this answer, but like this one's like, will she listen? I mean, I don't even know why we're even trying to have her do this. Who are we? <laughs> the first one? No, don't abandon me. Dejected, I reached out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallowed the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that kept floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of coagulated blood in the transparent coating traveling down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsen my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and try to catch it with my mouth. I lie on the floor. I look at the ceiling, I can clearly hear water running in the middle pipes up there. I hear the cracking of the concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. to talk about it? <laughs> no, I've had enough talking. Yay. What do you want to do then? I just want to lie down for a bit. Even if the 
ceiling's bound to collapse, it won't be today. I mean, she just says she wanted to lie down for a bit, right? So I think we should just, you know, give her that peace of mind. Right? Is this her view of the ceiling? Um, I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my cork board. Uh, in hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off from with my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. Oh? I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts, they're now, they're fireflies now, start whirling all over the, the ceiling of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. The mocking sound of flapping wings coming from the ceiling makes me start losing my patience. Enough! I hate you! Okay. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job, now start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you? Should it? No? A lot of people act like this? Really? There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone, if you have a reason to, for that. You did have a reason, didn't you? You'll surely get better, believe me. And now, start over. <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyways. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. Mm. I glance around the room. There are too many places for the creatures as small as fireflies to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while you were lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. I don't know. <laughs> should I know? Sure, we'll go with this one. Will you tell me? I...
Well then. I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They're so itchy. They're both the same. My eyes are itchy. Did you drink milk? Did he drink milk? Did you drink milk? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, will my eyes stop itching? No! I wonder if I tear... Oh, she's just gonna repeat it again. Oh, she's just repeating. Please don't tear out your eyelashes. What have you done? I need to gather the glass and then... Then I need to have a bath and then... No! They said no more milk! What do you mean? I don't... Does that come up? Yeah. What do you mean first death? Did I die somehow? I stand in the middle of the room, my mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. That's one way to phrase that. <laughs> Will you tell me or not? About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. Does she not remember what we're talking about? She just completely blank out. Blanked out. Uh, you're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no! If I make even the smallest mess here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their place, and that's it. Why? Uh, are you trying to come up with a reason right now, or you don't have to tell me if you don't want to? We'll just go with this one. I don't, and I won't. All right, so we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Yeah. My oh my. I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point and click adventure game character. Is this gonna turn into a point and click? You know those games where you have moments when you just look around at different objects and something inevitably happens? It sounds so fun. And what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. And I want to know what's and want to know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. Same. <laughs> I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. Um. You've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road, or do what you want? Hmm. See what she says? Come on, don't be so boring. I was only teasing. You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision too. Let's begin already. I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling! My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey, what? 
Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowie! Wowie. <laughs> carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasant scor scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was an order, the firefly slowly drifts up and circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. It, it, it tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, now we're actually doing a point and click. Okay. Oh, that sound startled me. Why is it glitchy though? Nothing else is glitchy here. The notes? The usual notebook pages glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them. It's the only kind of information I can take without trouble. Dosage and side effect? Yeah. I thought you know them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, isn't it? Of course it's not. Shaky, broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not writing. It's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. My screen makes the pages rustle restlessly. After a moment, a firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off into a business-like flight and ends up entering my business-like ear. Hey. Let's continue searching. Okay. Okay, so the papers aren't... You can't select them anymore. What about up here? I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling at least 300 feet off the floor. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally. And I'm definitely not worried. Not even the little bit. Not even the smidgen of little bit. Not even for a thousand of a percent. That's how much I don't care. Hey! I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh, no you don't. Then act normal. Okay, so we don't check that. Um, bag? I look down. My school bag, worn down and silly, is almost screaming of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its contents are regurgitating, decomposing, and turning into a sticky, mushy stu substance. What a cool image. I need to remember this. Um. Sure. Uh, tell me what's in your bag instead. Nothing special. Mostly just all sorts of books. Moldy books? I've taken out all the pens and notebooks out of there, and I'm not interested in anything else. You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understood my question? Did you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? 
Well, you're wrong. All right, all right. What did you like the most there? Hmm. Well, the rooms were really bright. Not like at home. That's it? Don't rush me. Let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft and the food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes. The others always skipped. They probably got told off so hard. I smiled gently, absorbed in warm memories. You never graduated though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, the tasks were way too easy. Then we got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner and went to our rooms. Let's see. And then what happened? Or I guess that day has absolutely no special meaning to you. Uh, let's ask for what else happened. I don't remember. And does it even matter? Okay, maybe the other one. <laughs> Um... Okay. Good. I looked at my bag again. Light pouring into the room through the window gl glint and the metal parts. And there's also a shadow underneath it, which means it's real, sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyways. I almost ended up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger but I managed to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move it an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. It has already happened countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? I've spent months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You don't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see a small insect crawling towards me from my bag. It's barely glowing and it can't even fly. I guess this firefly is really tired. I bend down and pick it up. The firefly starts glowing brightly as soon as I touch it and then flies up. There you go boy, good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies towards me at high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter my ear. That's exactly what happens. After I get inside, it buzzes for a little while, and then goes silent. This one is kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's no longer alone. Sure, let's continue searching. Assuming the fireflies are supposed to be like her memories? Is kind of what it's sounding like. Oh, more papers? What are those? Ah, those. Those are the photos of my best memories. They are blank. I stare at them so intensely that I burn them with my eyes. Okay. Now they're covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks? Forget it. Are we continuing the search or what? Okay, we are. Uh, what's this? I look up towards a very high place under my ceiling. I can hear countless numbers of small legs marching inside the AC unit. Ew. Oh well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends with cockroaches. We'd better look somewhere else. Why would cockroaches be there? Have you forgotten? You were the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yes, but... They became fireflies afterwards, but cockroaches don't disappear just like that. So they occupied the place. Do you understand now?
I'll pretend I do. Okay, Roach is in the AC unit. What? That is the smallest little piece of thing I can click. What is that? Tell me. What's this? That's it? She just... Okay. I was like, that was the smallest little... There's no other tiny small things I can click? Umbrella? Okay. Radio? Turn it off. Okay, those are just things I can interact with. Hehe. <laughs> what's what's funny about that? I imagine myself being a firefly that was that is looking straight at a giant fan. And I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying in the cage, it's locked in. And the cape and the cable. It's like an inmate, if you think about it. It's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. Alright then. Can't select anything outside. Lights? Are you serious? What's wrong? Just think about it. Why would fireflies be attracted to light? I think they're quite self-sufficient su already in that regard. They only clicked it because it glowed! <laughs> well, only if they purposely want to lower their self-esteem. Hmm. Look, I see a glowy thing and I'm gonna click it. Vent? It's not easy to get out of here. Hehe. <laughs> okay. Um, book? Magazine? This is my sketchbook. Half of its pages are blank, which means it'll be good for a couple years. You draw that rarely? Why? Isn't that obvious? If I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook. Good point, I guess. <laughs> I can't get to the stationery store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. Do you realize what kind of nightmare that can turn into? Ask your mom? By what? Ask whom? Can you even form coherent sentences? <laughs> Don't play dumb. Ask your mom to buy a notebook instead. Instead, you want me to perform a string of actions, but you're telling me to do one instead of another? Then how would I decide which action to take? You're so dyslexic. Man, you're a tough case. You lack empathy. Is that my fault? I get close to the sketchbook, stepping over the wires and sleeping bag. The cracks in the... Laminate, laminate, and the whole room's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool. From my height, it seems like the stool is missing two legs. I squat and look again. All the legs are in place. Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Oh, let's not go there, okay? I stand up and study the notebook from inches away. Its pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page, the way it should be. Too bad, I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. A sudden gust of chilly wind breaks into the room and makes the page rustle. Oh no! I shut my eyes. I distinctively s a distinctive sound of page turning echoes with a headache in my head. I know what's going to happen. The rustling has stopped. Even though the wind is still howling from every direction, it can only mean one thing. The notebook is open on the first page. If I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look. If I wait a little longer. If I wait... Open your eyes? 
No. It's okay, just do it. No way, I know you're lying. Calm down. No. How long is this back and forth gonna go? Do I have to do something? Okay, fine. I open my eyes with utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings, nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I don't know, did you? You're the smart one here, you tell me. Next time, don't close your eyes. What did you- I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it. I'm scared. Trust me. The rustling grows loud, louder. The pages lift. I can almost see the outline of the drawing on the previous pages. No way. Everything that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me. That's it. I'm closing my eyes. Look, look there. A barely visible light seeps through the pages. With every new gust, it becomes brighter and brighter. A firefly! The wind immediately stops. For a moment, the world sinks into perfect silence. But only for a moment. The buzz has always been haunting me. The buzz ha that has always been haunting me fills the surroundings. But it doesn't matter now. Goodness gracious, little boy, you made me so wor so scared. The firefly blinks, flies up and enters my ear, buzzing loudly all the way. I spend some time looking for the perfect spot in my head, but then its buzzing dies down. Phew. Are you okay? We're running short on time, let's continue searching. Okay. Oh, I haven't finished certain- no, I want to look more. I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with layers of dust as a thick- as thick as my finger. A bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful! Tell me about it! Huh. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I've spent my whole days in front of the, of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did. Before entering the web. Hmm? Imagine this. You're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Did you imagine? As always, your analogies are on spot. Okay, I imagined. Alright. So you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for a comfortable living, okay? <laughs> Wonderful. And here's the situation. You're a hamster that... Okay. <laughs> Continue, please. Yeah. Um. Fine. Suddenly the firefly crawls out from the laptop's vent grill. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. I think he's trying to say something. I can see that myself. If only I knew what. Looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? I changed my mind. I absolutely have no desire to find out what it wants to say. The firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. Then it starts glowing again, as if it come coming back to its senses. For some time, it thinks about further courses of action, then flies and flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. It's still giving me the search option, which I'm not going to do because we haven't looked everywhere. I doubt it. All of the compartments are locked. What if? I don't even want to think about what's inside. Who knows what I'll end up imagining. 
All right then. No. Umbrella. The umbrella emanates a faint sense of coolness. No wonder, it's the only thing that defends me against thunder clouds that gather under my ceiling. It's such a blessing that it can do it without my help. Still, a firefly won't hide in a place like this. It will catch a cold and unable to fly. Do you still want to check? Why? I'm sure we won't find anything there. Okay. I mean, if you say so. Uh... Peace? Right, insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Do fireflies do that? I don't know. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen a firefly before. At least not in real life. Animal Crossing? That's the closest, I think. And of course, anime. But that's it. Uh, let's see. I get close to the flower shelves. I sniff around. The leaves smell of dust and cardboard and, and death. But died. You- oh, well. Plants. The plants are dead. Do dead plants smell? I don't know. You know those plants are long dead. I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insect. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know? Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw it out? Weren't you listening to me at all? She's memorized the room and she'll probably have a freak out. We got it. No, we're not finished. Um... Besides this... I get close to the waste bin and look inside with curiosity. A pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self-respecting firefly would hide in a heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you there. Alright. No firefly in the garbage. Oh, well, we didn't check the bed. This is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the tempting temptation to spend a minute or two inside. They'd want to dig deep with it into it with a couple of favorite items. Close their eyes and then Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently slap my cheeks to return myself to my senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be sleeping like a log, but right now, I can't. Let's continue searching. Hey, maybe we'll find something inside. Nah, my thoughts don't have a feature of putting to, of putting to sleep. Quite the contrary, they always cause insomnia, just like tonight. Know that feeling. I turn my eyes towards an incomputer incon oh my god I can't read <laughs> inconspicuous shelf near the mirror there is a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it and a small towel hanging nearby what a sight wonderful sight Ugh. my fireflies are smart and good they would never get in there they know about my personal hygiene Okay, let's look somewhere else. Uh, the uh, fireflies in your pills? I look at the mound of pills and it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. What's wrong? I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless. I could have died. You'll ultimate. Uh, well, that's very negative. We'll, we'll just go with this one. <laughs> yes, because you ordered me to. Uh, things could have been worse? Yeah. I heave a deep sigh. 
come closer and extend my hand. Wow, it's warm. The moment those words left my words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturned. Pills ran down from it and along with them. A firefly, hooray! After circling above my head a couple times, it lands in my palm. The firefly rushes up my arm and upon reaching my shoulder, it crawls straight into my ear. My mind becomes a bit clearer. I think with that, it's just this glitchy thing is the only thing I haven't searched yet, so... Wait. Can we not? Hey, I guess not. I guess she does not at all want us to look at that. Okay. I mean, I guess that's everything. I'm hovering over. The radio just turns on the radio. Both of them. Oh. I can individually... Individually... What's this? We'll turn that off. I look at the alarm clock. The time continues its unstoppable flow. It's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. Let me... I let out a theatric yawn and hold my arms out to the sides. One, two. Then I realize... That, that they realize. Oh my god. Then I raise them above my head. Three, four. Maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. I take a hesitant stance. What was it? Heels heels together? Toes apart? Whatever. I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Fine. You have a clock right in front of you, though. I can't look at, at its hands for too long. At first, I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction, and then they disappear altogether. Okay. And then things get messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. Ugh! And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think. What a mess. Truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess. Well, are you counting down? My god, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an- Oh my god. She like completely rambled off there. Huh? Forget it. Did you see the firefly? No. Let's continue searching. Well then. She... They apparently zoned out. What medicine is she taking again? I want to make sure I completely get everything. I mean, it seems like I have, except for that glitchy stuff. But how do I check the glitchy stuff? Do I turn on everything, maybe? Turn on this. I can't. Doesn't look right. So I guess we're done. You found all the fireflies. Amazing. I guess. <laughs> You'll go to bed? <laughs> I've managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyways. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just gonna... It's just going back to the starting point. No changes at all. A zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? Uh, you shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? Well, go to the balcony. Breathe in some fresh air. Somehow, those words 
triggered a panic attack in me. I subconsciously stepped away from the balcony. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? This may sound silly, but I feel like someone is watching me. Buy curtains. <laughs> Buy curtains. Patch up the whole wall. <laughs> Something. Um. Well, that's mean to say. We're just... Tell her it's okay to stay there. Uh, what are you gonna do? What's with this silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Oh my god. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. Imagine myself being outside of my immortal shell, but at the same time still being me. Ridiculous, like milk outside a bag of milk, and yet... And yet? You don't have to talk loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill? Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow. And never ever. That's a goodbye then? No. I have one small favor to ask. A really, really small one. What is it? I've blurted out way too much today. A lot of the stuff I want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No, I wouldn't be able to sleep like this. Fine, what's the favor? I am... Um, I nervously scratched my wrist and bit my lower lip. Wait a minute, are you afraid to tell me? Yes. I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop, I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. <laughs> no, you! So she doesn't tell us? <laughs> I crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry up and wrap myself in blankets, even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know, it was a joke. Well, anyway. I wash my face, brush my teeth, lie down, and started imagining that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and always looked sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Leathers floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared in the most unexpected places. Bulging eyes with trembling, pale pupils. It was scary, you know? Then one day, I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. And then silhouettes, leathers, and eyes were hanging over me and hissing. It was horrible. And well deserved, I guess. It felt like I was caught in the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, leathers, and eyes stayed here. I guess. They like this place. They always follow in my wake, peeping at me. And I'm kind of scared of them, and I can't argue with them. But today... Today... I... Still too scared to tell me? Of course. They're still listening, you know? Use your hands. Alright. I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh. And I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax, nobody can hear you. So what do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how 
to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly, but it's not. And meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. <laughs> Fine. Close your eyes. Oh, what is this? This is more of the creepy milk creature. I hope not. I wake up on the be wooden bench. In front of me lies a narrow, dimly lit alley. An awful familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Finally. I hear a voice coming from the side. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. You're late. Um, who are you? The boy blinks, bewildered. Min in We're not going anywhere like this. Try again. Then he takes a very deep breath. You are late. I stare at him, confused. He stares back, also confused. Sorry? The boy nods, satisfied. See, much better. What? <laughs> Do you have a name? My name's... Uh, Treshka. I hope I pronounced that right. I give the brat an evaluating... Evaluating and you know how to enunciate. Look, he's so young, yet already coming at me with questions like that. None of your business. And besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's somebody else here beside me. Well, why can't you say it like that? <laughs> Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know, for one. About what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. Trushka says that and strikes a victory pose. No way. No way I'm doing that. You do understand that refusal is futile. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? Well, that's rude. <laughs> He's weird. Constantly shifting between happiness, sadness, loudness, silence. He's a wacko. And his name is stupid. Are we going or what? You can go. And I need to think. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. Trushka puts on a cunning smile. I bit my lower lip in frustration. I'll be honest with you, I don't like you. He simply burst out laughing in reply. I do like you though. Then he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to retort. Lead the way. How can you lead the way? Okay. How do you lead the way if you just pull her anyways? Cause uh, when you pull someone, that's like you're leading them. <laughs> Our trip to the store went fine. If not the fact that Treshka was walking way faster than me. And on the other hand, at times he stopped abruptly and went backwards, studying the ground beneath his feet. In the end, the trip took a lot longer than it should. After reaching the store's door, we are greeted by a sign. We're closed in 20 minutes. Who had the bright idea to indicate their working hours in this way? They're probably... They probably have special staff for this. Someone who runs to change the sign every five minutes. It's convenient. You can just put a time on the door. <laughs> are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. It's much better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? None of your business. Uh... What's your name? None of your business. I was already... I was ready to slap the living hell of that brat. But a scary looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. 
He's holding a cardboard sign that says, We're closing in 15 minutes. Please don't show me the scary man. Okay. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Huh? Oh yeah. After another round of going across the long row of canned products, we realized that we were lost. I can't believe you don't know where they sell milk. I, um... Maybe we should ask somebody for directions. Sure. Hey, wait up! Trushka lets go of my hand and walks confidently towards one of the few store... Few store's customers. That person is standing with their back to us, studying something on the shelf. Hello, can I... I can't hear it, the second part of this question. Nor the reply he gets. But my good-for-nothing friend freezes in place, looking the customer straight in the eye. I hurry towards them. Is he yours? The customer talks to me. He speaks with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. What do you mean, is he yours? I, um... If he's yours, please get him away from me. I yes, I'm sorry. I grab Trashka's hand and let him away. He's still looking at the customer. His mouth ajar and eyes popped. He's also shaking. What is with this kid? Only when we turn around the corner, Trashka calms down. What was that? I... I got so scared. He said... What? No, not again! Suddenly, Trushka starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? You... you don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. Annoying other people is still wrong, though. This is something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean. Who, me? Trashka pushes me away and runs off. But you're the one who wanted me to escort you! Drat. At the edge of my vision, I see the sore staffs hanging a new sign at the door. There you are! I meet Trashka at the cash register. Before that, I manage to visit the milk department after finding out a note. Finding out where it was. Hey you, move! I hear an angry voice coming from the other side of the long queue that has formed after Trushka. I squeeze through towards him. What happened? The boy doesn't respond. He just looks at his feet and sniffs. The cashier towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is he yours? Yes. Just leave him home next time. People in the queue nod in agreement. What is this place? Pay for the goods, please. Of yes, of course. And the waiting- What waiting fee? What? You heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Trashka starts giggling all of a sudden. And for the fact that your son- What is this? But- You heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I threw a banknote at the ca to the cashier. Of much higher value than needed, even counting in all the stupid fees, and grabbed a bag of milk and turned around on my heels. We're leaving, Trashka. Why did you suddenly, like, accept this kid? Like, you, you just met him, like, a moment ago. We spend the whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right, towards the gas station. There, Trushka finally breaks the silence. Do you like ice cream? No. Okay. I look at the boy's face. A light flickers in his eyes for a brief moment and then goes out. You know? He turns away from the path and walks straight towards the highway with determination. I stare at his back, confused. Is gonna get hit? I swear, it seems like you're not helping me at all. A new playful light flickers in Trushka's eyes. Are you 
so confused. <laughs> Good night. That was it? I am so lost. That that was really it, wasn't it? Oh my god. Um I I think there might be other endings to this. I just wouldn't know how you would get them. Like there was that glitchy thing on the floor in the corner. But I don't know. Like, I am so lost. Like, I probably need to go either watch over this or replay it or just like to try to understand a little more because there was so much going on. It was so creepy at the beginning, too, and suddenly with that creature and everything. <laughs> Animations are really nice, though. I, I gotta. Like this this was so much to take in. I needed to like like sit down and absorb it a little more <laughs> so I can understand it. Cuz like right now I am so conf confused, so lost. I don't know what any of this meant, <laughs> whether it had a meaning to it. What does it have to do with milk? <laughs> um don't drink milk or else a demon will come and inject poison into your veins. <laughs> That's the only part I got. Okay. Well, that was very interesting. Um, yeah, that was milk outside the back of milk outside the back of milk. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this weird adventure we had. Um, if you want to play for yourself, it's on Steam. I think it's like $8. Eight, nine dollars, something like that. Um, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya!